Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have the confirmation that Spotify is done with Megan's podcast, Our Swipes. Spotify slashes 200 more jobs after Harry and Megan's archetypes podcast deal fails to pay off. Well, I like to put numbers into perspective. And in this case, it will help us confirm what is the degree of Markle we're talking about. While these 200 employees represent only 2% of Spotify's workforce, we need to remember that Spotify's podcast business per se is around 7 to 9% of their total listening time. Because Spotify is mainly about music, so 2% of the workforce is non-negligible. But what does Megan have to do with this? Well, you'll remember that she was offered a contract of $100 million to produce, I don't know how many episodes or seasons, but at least put her name to it. I have said many times that this could be a strategy to just generate headlines, but at $100 million, well, that's an obscenely costly strategy. In the end, we win, because this is material for endless memes, parodies, and satires such as this from the upper lip. Spotify offers Megan $100 million to stop doing podcasts. Well, that sounds like a good deal. But you can't tell me it's not suspicious when the woman who signed Megan into the deal, Don Ostroff, was let go from Spotify. And it's not like that was her only move, because uh, she signed up Michelle Obama, Kim Kardashian, and Joe Rogan. Then you ask, uh, how could this go wrong? And then, well, I have to say, I personally don't listen to podcasts. And now that we're getting tools that allow us to summarize three or four hours of people talking about themselves, well, and now that we're talking about failed productions, I need to mention the fact that The Woke Little Mermaid is said to be a flop for Disney in terms of a box office, as it is highly unlikely that it will break even. And you might remember that I mentioned one part of the script in which they took a needless dig at Catherine because, well, <laughs> reasons. So I guess this is not an official Markle event, but it looks pretty close to it. Go woke and you know what will happen. And just to make it clear that it's not about any racist backlash or much less any unconscious bias, it's important to highlight that Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse with its original black protagonist, is surging in the same markets where the woke Little Mermaid is being crushed. It's as if uh, people really don't care about skin color as long as you focus on entertaining them and not lecturing them. And believe it or not, that's part of the rationale that the Sussex squad applies to Megan's business shenanigans, that people are not willing to support a woman of color or in this case, colors, as in many of them. But it's not only Megan, the Duchess of Sausages, who's under attack, because the ginger ploy toy is being destroyed by the media and without hacking a single phone. Look at this headline from The Telegraph. Harry believes he has a brain and something meaningful to say. Unfortunately, that is not the case. These people are not pulling any punches. But who could blame them if they behave in such crazy ways? By the way, we got a flying influencer who's a flight attendant for American Airlines. He got a surprise copy of a spear as some kind of tip, a gift. But yes, I thought this was absurd enough, but it gave it a thought. This was a nice gesture because you know that flight attendants have to deal with dozens of people on a daily basis. People that are stressed because you know that traveling or flying can be stressful. So if at any point someone is uh, misbehaving or a smile and being polite doesn't cut it, he can just grab his copy of his spear and threaten the passengers to read it aloud over the PA system. So there's your silver lining. And he will not be giving any other books on flights for some time because we also have a confirmation that the month the shit show duo have been banned from King Charles' birthday parade for the next we can. That's the report of Richard Eden from the Daily Mail. Even as Buckingham Palace officials have always been keen to stress that they would continue to be invited to family events, and Queen Elizabeth said they would always be much loved members of the family. But this will be the first time in Harry's life that he will not be welcome 
at the monarch's official birthday celebrations. And we are talking about the first event after King Charles' coronation. I wouldn't be surprised that everyone is relieved of, well, you know, that special someone is not coming. And no, this image of King Charles with a yellow shirt of, thank goodness, Meghan is not coming, is not real. Uh, the sentiment, on the other hand, but speaking of King Charles, there is another lie that we need to debunk. And for that, I'm going to bring J.E. May. Neil Sean says the story that King Charles is gifting Lily with a playhouse is utter rubbish. Didn't happen. Not going to happen. There had been published reports of Charles having a life-size playhouse designed in the style of the one his mother had as a young girl as a gift for Lily. All lies. You know that uh, this kind of rumors are created so either the Sussex squad or our smell themselves uh, to make it seem like there is still some kind of relationship with the royal family, but perhaps the reports were misleading. Maybe the little house was not for Archie and Lily. Maybe it was for the chickens. Chickens deserve a cozy home too. And I would like to start a conversation around this tweet from Evans E. Throughout this week, we saw a stark difference between selfishness versus selfless service. On the one hand, Harry, a royal baby factory defect, <laughs> trying to silence the press because they report too harshly on him and having no evidence of hacking or unlawful information gathering. On the other hand, we saw all working members of the royal family celebrating others, promoting causes, and indignity to put in the crown. Even the non-working royals, Princess Eugenie and Duchess of Kent, uplifted worthy causes. Meanwhile, someone decided to write a letter of 12 font times new Roman a month after Archie's birthday, hand out a copy of the oversupplied spare to a TikToker for favorable promotion, and then claim they donated 10,000 for books in the UK. Harry and Meghan are undignified. They must lose their titles. And the clock is ticking because the Heritage Foundation is uh, calling on the Biden administration to release Prince Harry's immigration records. This week, they took the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to federal court in D.C. A federal judge has given Homeland Security until Tuesday to respond to the request. And you know that I don't talk much about the royal children, but in this case, I will make an exception because an artificial intelligence has made a good guess about how could Prince Louis look when he is older. And coming from an art and face analysis background, I can tell you that this is pretty much spot on. But again, what do you think? I would love to read your opinions in the comments. My Royal Rogues, we are really close to 130,000 by this point, so all you have to do is hit the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss any of my daily royal memes and news. The two most important words, much love and bliss.